Merry Christmas ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have a fantastic festive season. Welcome to the Christmas special, now don't worry, we are going to be playing a game, you're not just going to be scaring at this screen for the next half hour, so we are going to be playing a game, and now you may be wondering, what game could you possibly be playing for a Christmas special, because it's a bit more difficult to do a Christmas video game, there's not really that many to pick from, I mean, Unlike Halloween, where you have a plethora of horror games to choose from, Christmas, not so much. So I had to get a bit creative. So, as a result of that, we are playing... Train Sim World. Now, I know what you're thinking. You think to yourself, what the bloody hell does Train Sim World have to do with Christmas? Short answer, absolutely nothing. But let me explain my thinking. Christmas is a time for spending it with friends, with family, with loved ones basically. That's one of the best joys of Christmas is the whole family coming together to spend the festive season all together under one roof. But unfortunately, not a lot of families actually live under one roof. Some people live in their own separate houses, other people may be in colleges or universities across the world. Meaning that these families that are all separate will be making that journey home for Christmas. And this is what this video is a representation. There is a train coming in a few moments that we will hop on here at Redden train station. And we will get the train from Redden all the way up to London. Christmas journey home. Essentially it's going to be a simple video. Um, getting a train from one place to another. Well, actually, if I was being a bit more realistic, if I was getting a train home, I'd be getting the train in the opposite direction of what I'm actually getting, but you get what you're given, basically. My, my city's not in this uh, game, unfortunately, so I have to pretend that London is my home, when in reality, it's the middle of South Wales. Uh, but yeah, this video is going to be very simple. It's going to be very relaxed, very chilled out. I got some questions that I'm going to be answering because over on my Twitter and on my Instagram, which, by the way, if you aren't following me, link in the description. I asked you guys for some questions to send me, so I'm going to be answering them along the way on our journey. I mean, it's like a mini Q&A, if you will, but also um, not really. I, I I don't know. Like, I didn't know what else to do for a Christmas video, all right? So I had to improvise with something. Otherwise, it's going to be a plain, simple video of me getting a train in absolute silence. Uh, I should probably say that I am not a train enthusiast, I'm not a train expert, so I mean I can tell you that for a fact is a train there, but other than that I know absolutely nothing about trains, like I can tell you that that's a big train, that's somewhere over there, a small train or something, but other than that I don't know the different classes or types or whatever, so please don't expect me to be giving you train information throughout this video, I'm purely just going to be riding a train, that's it. Is this my train now pulling in? I believe it is. Ah, oh, only a little small train. We're not getting the big train. We're gonna get the small train. Little is this a, is a, is a hopper train? I don't know what the trains are called. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get this train. Uh, I, I, like I said, I got some questions. I will be answering in a minute. But yeah, this is Ren Station. It's quite nice. I've never the furthest I've been on a train is Newport in South Wales. I, I oh Christ, that's a bit loud. Um, I live in I live in Swansea, and so the next big station I think from us would be Cardiff, and then after that it's Newport. There's there's a few stops along the way, but they're I guess smaller minor stops. Ah, uh, yeah, bag hop on this train before it leaves without me. Oh, come on, off we go. Yeah, there we go. On and on. Uh, I want to sit. I want to sit facing forward. Yeah, we're gonna get a nice, uh, we're a nice view. Uh, unfortunately, there's no snow. I'm afraid. I was hoping to get some. Oh Christ! The above. Sorry love, this is a Christmas video, not a horror video, it made me jump. Is there any other seat available? There we go, someone just, I just got jump scared by a random woman sitting across from me, who wasn't expecting that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I, I, yeah, this is what this video is, it's a simple, smaller video. This is pretty much going to be it now. It's going to be me, my voice, some stories, and some questions. So, I hope you enjoy. Slight change of plans. For some reason, the train I got on doesn't want to go. So instead, we're going to get on this train, which is the big long speedy boy. Oh, I do love a long speedy boy. I've been, I've been on one of these trains before. <laughs> I went, yeah, 
That's how much in my life is. I've been on a train before. Uh, is there any spare seats? Excuse me, any spare? Uh, you, you want one with a window? You want a view with a window, don't you? Yes. You are kidding me. Now you leave? Oh. Typical British train service. Is there a replacement bus service going on? I have no idea. And we're finally moving off home to London. Right. Questions. I said I had some questions. I didn't make a note of them down on my phone. I want to thank everyone for um, asking me some questions over on my story and whatnot and on my Twitter. I, I, I genuinely do uh, appreciate you guys sending in some. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to my friend who sent me like a plethora of questions. Just like a bam, 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 like nine, ten questions. I'm not going to be answering all them questions, but I did, I, I, I did pick out some few which I think made sense. Some of them kind of relate to me personally, some are to do with YouTube, and some are even to do with Doctor Who. I mean, I think it's fitting, given I've just done a Doctor Who um, Let's Play, and I've been talking about Doctor Who pretty much all the time on my Twitter, so it's only really fitting that I have some Doctor Who questions in there. But we'll, we'll go ahead and get started with the first question is, do I have any hobbies? Um, yes, I do. I don't know how interesting of a hobby this is, but... I, and I don't know if I've actually even talked about this on my Twitter before or Instagram or whatever, but I have an addiction for comic books. I love comic books. I collect comic books. I visit comic book stores as much as possible. I love comic books. I think I've got now about like 300, 400 comics, possibly even 500 in my possession at the moment. I, I have got a ton. A lot of them are Marvel. But I've got some like 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 um like original stuff like stuff from Image Comics and um, oh god who's the other company? Uh, let me think. I'm trying to look. I'm literally looking at my my uh. Literally, I'm literally as I'm literally where I record my videos next to me is a big shelf where I keep all my comics. What uh, other companies do I have? There's a I think it's Boom Studios and Aftershock, which are other comic book companies. I do read a, a few original comics from. So yeah, I, I'm like that's one of my biggest hobbies is a uh, comic book reading. I I just adore um, comic books. I, it's Jenny, one of my uh, like that, that's my hobby. Yeah, I'm not gonna say how much I've spent on comic books, but uh, yeah, comic books are my hobby. And I, I do actually like I mentioned, I do visit a lot of comic books. Stores. I've actually fit in funny enough where I've been on a train. I have generally been on a train to go into other cities just to visit like big comic book shops and like stores and other cities just to hopefully get a chance of finding some new rare and collectibles. I, li I like visiting like sort of like second hand shops which sell like second hand comics you won't probably won't find in like brand new retail comic book stores. Like I like finding new um new 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 collectibles if you will new, not new old sorry like old stuff that you can't really find anymore but you might find for like a couple of quid. In one of these like secondhand shops, that's one of the real joys. God, it's miserable outside, isn't it? This, 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 if you ever wondered, yes, Britain is like this. It's dull, it's dark, it's grey, and it's just rain. That that's Britain for you. Uh the next questions, actually the next few set of questions are actually to do more with YouTube and like my, my YouTube sort of lifestyle, if you will. So we'll go ahead and sort of like answer them not not all together but sort of back to back for so the first question is what is your earliest memory of youtube now i don't know if they mean like just in general or me starting youtube i'm not i'm not i'm not 100 sure what they quite mean but as so i'll answer it both ways my earliest memory is like just in youtube in general is actually going to a friend's i was back in 2012 20 it would have been it would have been 2013 and i remember watching like stuff like vanos gaming i i, I I still watch some of his stuff even to this day. Um, ooh, we're passing a station. How lovely. Ooh, it's a nice station as well. Don't know where that is. Um, yeah, my earliest memories were like when I was like watching Vanos Gaming back in like 2013 after school at a friend's house and it was just the funniest things I've ever seen. I still, I try to still go back and watch some of those videos even now. They're still a, like a good laugh. So that's like my earliest memories of YouTube. Uh, in terms of me starting YouTube, well, I, I've been doing this for a while, actually. I know you, if you look at this channel, like, the earliest video you can find is from a year ago. That's when I did, like, the whole big reboot, rebranding of the channel. Uh, before then, I'd been making videos since 2018 on this channel. And before that, I had another channel, which I won't really talk about because it's long gone. 
where I did like sort of cinematic um, videos, if you will. Um, ooh, it's a lovely field. Uh, British countryside, best in the world. Um, yeah, where I did like cinematics and I've been doing that since about 2015. And then before 2015, I actually started out on Twitch. So yeah, I've been doing this now for like a, a decade. It's kind of surreal to think. I mean, I haven't been constant for the last decade, but yeah, the last... Um, yeah, I've been doing this for like 10 years and it's still a bit unreal to me that I'm still doing it after these years and I'm still loving it. I'm still doing my best trying to make videos as entertaining. I mean, I don't know how me getting a train from one station to another can be possibly that entertaining, but hey, whatever works, what works, I suppose. Um, yeah, so that's like my, my earliest um, YouTube memories, both doing YouTube and just YouTube in general. Before we answer any more questions, I'm going to go ahead and have a quick wander on the train. Uh, it, it's surreal being in this train, like, in a video game, because, like, I, I mentioned I've gotten, like, trains from the city, and it's, it's just, like, this is exactly like it. It's surreal seeing something I'm so, so you've seen just normal in my everyday life, but in a, in a, in a video game, uh... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's almost like the, the only thing is, the trains I get, like, they have a little screen here telling you if the seats are available or not. Uh, I don't think they have it on these trains, I, I don't know. Let's have a little, uh, wander, shall we? A fire extinguisher. Good. Health and safety. Do they actually just keep fire extinguishers? Well, I would imagine if they keep them open in case of a fire, but, you know, uh, what I meant is, like, I thought they'd be behind some sort of glass or something. Because I just stop a lot of idiots just trying to grab out of I, I I don't know. Should we open the window? Let's have a look outside. <laughs> Some houses. Lovely. Uh, lovely winter sunset. Sunrise? Sunset. Yeah, it's like, it's like sunset. It's half past four in the afternoon. It does generally get this dark in the UK at this time. Uh, but it's very pretty, I must say. I do like the clouds. It's a very pretty game. Houses going by. Ooh. Mrs. Megan's lives there. Lovely old lady. Wandering down the train. Do they still like... They don't have like those coffee stations anymore. No, they just have like a trolley or something that comes through. People come through it's like with tea or coffees or like Coca-Cola or whatever they serve on those trolleys. I've never bought one, but um... You know, like, they always have something like that. But I remember on the old trains, you used to like... I wonder... Do, no, they don't... I don't think they sell. They used to have like a... Uh, like a little, like a, like a, like a, like a cafe thing. I mean, not that, it's a toilet. Um, but like, like, like a, like an actual uh, carriage or like a little store in it. Do you actually have to walk up and, you know, buy something from? I remember that being from younger. Do they still do that on trains now? Is it just, have they stopped in all trains? Is it just the trains that I get that no longer have them? I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't really know my trains. I, I, like, I like trains and like, I think they're fascinating. Oh my God, that's a very pretty... Sorry, I may have crouched in the next year. I was going to say that's a very pretty view of the bridge and that. It was, uh, it was like a Christmas card. For very fitting for the Christmas video, I should say then. Uh, yeah, I I find trains fascinating, but I, I don't study them. I don't understand them. I don't know how they um, all work and that. I think we're at the end. Can I open this door? No, I cannot. Staff access. Oh, that's why then I'm not a staff. Evening. Evening. Lovely to meet you all. Head home for Christmas. Dressed the same. Are you twins? People have twins. Why don't you just sit by each other? That's very awkward. Hmm. I don't know. British people are weird. I know. I'm one of them. Have you ever? Has anyone ever gone on a train and had to awkwardly sit across from someone you don't know? I had to, I had to do that again. A train back from Cardiff a couple of a couple of months ago, and it was really awkward because I was on the slow train, so it was stopping at every stop. So it just dragged on and on and on. And I was sitting next across uh, uh, from a person who I will admit I did find rather, rather quite attractive. So I was quite nervous. I was like, just don't look at them, don't look at them. But yeah, I just like it was just a really awkward train journey. Oh, ah, there we go. Have a seat here. Factory. I don't know what they make there. Probably glue or something. I don't know. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Let's get, let's get back to the questions. We have a nice little. Uh, Wander on a train. Let's get back down to the questions. What do we have? 
what is my inspiration on YouTube? I'm guessing we mean like like who's my inspiration? Do I have any YouTubers I look up to? And uh, yes, what one of my favorite YouTubers, someone I've watched for the past ten years. I just love, I just absolutely love him. I love his channel, and I say my channel now is kind of like a huge inspiration of his. Is uh, someone called Nerd Cube, who's a British YouTuber. He's got two point four million subscribers. I don't know how well known he is, like globally. But he, I, I, I genuinely love him. He's, he, he's one of my favorite British YouTubers. I've been watching him now like for 10 years. I just love his style, his humor, his commentary. Like a huge like chunk of what I do now on YouTube is like inspired by him. I still want to do like my own style, obviously. I don't want to be exactly like him, but like the way I maybe edit things or act in videos is kind of, it's kind of an inspiration of him while still bringing my own uniqueness to the content if you will that, that that's my biggest inspiration it's probably nerd cute but i, I i've watched a, a lot of youtubers i kind of i don't want to say steal but like i kind of take inspiration from you know different ways but he is my biggest inspiration on um youtube mr nerd cubed some vans where are we now oh we're about halfway i do not know the british um layout system so we'll come up to a station i believe what station we come up to and have a look are we stopping you yeah? seems to be slowing down or are we just going through i i don't know let's have a look at the view cam let's go up three stars um got a yellow light i think we're just slowing down are we slowing down or are we stopping i do not know I does I think we are stopping? Where are we stopping at? Where are we? Can I go ahead and have a look? It's very dull, whichever this place is. I mean, it's got a lovely station, but it's not exactly interesting. I mean, we've got hay. Which station are you? You are. Oh, what's that? Slough. Uh, could could we speed up, please? I don't really want to be in Slough. Uh. I think we are stopping in slow. Oh, apologies to the people of slow. Nothing personal. I just, you know, don't want to be here. I want to be home in London. Oh, it's a quite nice slow station, I must say. There so we are stopping in slow. Oh Christ, I'm alive! All right, did everyone get off in time? bit fast for that mate it meant stop uh yeah here we are uh slough um i don't know, moon thankfully not a full moon so you won't turn into werewolves that's good although if someone from slough did turn into a werewolf you won't be able to tell the difference uh i'm sorry that that's mean i'm sorry that that was a very mean joke people are slough i do apologize it's meant, it's meant to be christmas it's meant to be festive uh well could go to Oxford or Redden. Nah, I'm alright, thanks. We're gonna we're gonna head home to London. Uh yeah, sorry people are slow. I didn't mean that. I was just having a bit of fun. You know what, let's change things up. Let's we've we've looked out this side quite enough. It's just been factories and houses and maybe the occasional nice Christmas card looking scenery bridge, but should we go ahead and move on to this side? I wonder if there's more interesting things this side. He says, no, it's just houses and that again. I mean, of course it's going to be houses again. It's not exactly going to be different. It's not going to be like one side is slough, the other side is Barcelona. No, it's going to be the same either side. But, you know, we'll switch things up. We'll have a, we'll have a table seat, shall we? Christ, it's dark. I should have maybe said this more in the day, but I wanted that evening journey home. You know, you go home in the evenings, like, have a nice day out. Ooh, what's that over there? I was going to say, I thought that was a fun fair. No, it's just some scaffolding. Maybe that maybe that's the fun fan slough, some scaffolding. I, I don't know. I don't know the people that are slow. Questions, questions, gonna need some questions. Ah. I have a question here from a friend of mine. Um I will admit she's been a bit generous when she asked me this question, but I'll still answer it anyway. What is my 1k subscriber special idea? Firstly, let's not get ahead of myself. I haven't even hit seven hundred subs yet, so we're still a, a, a long way out from getting 1k subscribers. I hope to hope to achieve that. That might that might be my goal for the next coming year. You know, I've, I've got a new PC coming. I've got some ideas I want to do. And I just want to 
make as many videos, put as many videos as I can, and just go for it in 2024. So hopefully next year we'll um, hit that 2024, uh, 2024 subscribers. I would love to hit 20, uh, 2,200, uh, 2,024 subscribers, but we'll, we'll get there. Let's just get focus on the 1K uh, first, shall we? Uh, by the way, if you're not subscribed, please do. I promise my videos are a bit more entertaining than riding a train to London. I do promise that. I just wanted uh, something different today. But yes, what is my 1K special? I haven't a bloody clue. Like, it's not something I thought about because it still feels like such a long way away yet. I, I genuinely do not know. I'll probably just make a mini video saying thank you for the people's support who liked the videos and that. Like, I, I genuinely don't know. It's not something I thought about. It's because it just still feels like such a long way away for me yet. The idea of getting to a thousand subscribers. I mean, it's like I said, it's something I want to achieve and I hope maybe next year is something we can do. So, I don't know. I'll, uh, maybe I'll think of something. I don't know. But like I said, it's a long way away yet. So, yeah. Not really thinking about it at the moment. Having a quick nosy outside the train. I haven't really, we haven't really explored much with the free cam yet. I've kind of just looked at, uh, well, I haven't really looked around. I had a look through Slough, which was nice. Oh, Parsons Station. Goodbye. Hope we won't head home. Um, yeah, we can't really see much. It's bloody dark. Of course, like, Brian, like I said, it gets dark quite early. Uh, not much to see. We've got a car park. And some... Um, houses. That's Britain for you. Car parks and houses. That's all we have. Are we pass another station? Or, no, we're just passing some scenery. Oh, it's a lovely little river over here. I was going to say a river that goes into a warehouse. What? Oh, no, it's just going past it. Whoops. Uh, yeah, not much to see. Can we go a bit higher? Whoa! Whoa! Okay, where am I? Oh, hello. I think I lost my head on that one. How about, oh, we're getting, we're getting quite close to London, so we better start wrapping up some of these uh, questions. Let's go back in the inside view where it's a bit more quiet and peaceful. Oh! Your twin got off at the last stop. She got off in Slough. Yeah, your twin. Did you not know? Oh. Oh, well. Maybe had a fight. Oh, look. Another car park. Like I said, we're famous for that in Britain. Right. We've got two more questions here, and they're both Doctor Who related. Like I said, I've just completed a Doctor Who Let's Play, and I have been talking a lot about Doctor Who on my Twitter, so it kind of made sense to get some Doctor Who questions in there from some people. But I have two questions back to back, so we're going to answer them like kind of all together in like so one go so the first question is what are my thoughts on the recent uh regeneration that we've just seen of course the 14th doctor to the 15th doctor and who is my most and least favorite doctors so we'll we'll, we'll start with the well, no, we'll start, i was gonna say we're gonna start with least favorite doctor no no we're gonna start with the regeneration because it's quite a interesting concept to be honest i for those of you who maybe haven't seen it spoiler warning it wasn't your standard Regeneration in Doctor Who is called a bi-regeneration, meaning that the Doctor split in two. The previous incarnation stayed, and the 15th incarnation, Shutigawa, was there as well. So we had two Doctors in one scene. So we, both, we still got the multi-Doctor story we expected from the 60th anniversary, just maybe not in the way we expected. Um, Yeah, thoughts on it? I, I don't know, really. I mean, I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. I can't, I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm a very simple man. I quite like the simple, this incarnation is dying, and here we have the birth of a new incarnation of the Doctor. I've kind of liked that format, if you will, but that's kind of been a standard for Doctor Who, so maybe they wanted to change it up, try something different. I mean, it's not like it's dramatically changed. I mean, Shudigatwa is still the current Doctor. He's the 15th Doctor. He's still the Doctor that we're going to be following. The 14th Doctor is gone, even if he's still technically you know, it's still out there existing, so it's not like it's a... I, I, I don't know, really. But then again, in, in like the audio dramas and even in the comic books, uh, they do weird stuff with like regeneration, it's not like standard, they, they, they like explore stuff, like they have a lot of de-generating or G-regeneration, where like a Doctor regenerates into a past face, which is something they have actually hinted at in the show i mean we just saw it now with david tennant who came back as the 14th doctor he was still a new incarnation but had the face of the 10th doctor and we also had the tom baker as the curator in the 50th anniversary special who's 
who said basically he's a future incarnation of the Doctor who's revisiting old faces. So the idea of the Doctor exploring old faces is uh, not something that's kind of weird. And like I said, in the comics, he has de-regenerated before. I think he's regenerated into the ninth Doctor in one comic, regenerating some past incarnations in other comics, so uh, in, other, in, in audio dramas, sorry. So yeah, it's, it, it, it's a bit of a weird one. It's just that... That we haven't seen any weird regenerations in the terms of the actual show itself. We just had the standard regeneration. One actor leaves, new one comes in, first change. So, yeah, I'm fourth. Don't love it, but also don't hate it either. But either way, whether I like it or hate it or not, similar fact is, it's happened. It's part of the show. I kind of got to deal with it and move on with it. And shoot, I'm looking forward to see what Shuti Gatwa has to offer on Christmas Day with the... Uh, his first special, I'm really looking forward to see what Chutigawa can do with Doc than just seeing what adventures he gets up to with. Um, ooh. Some other people heading home. Uh, and the other question was, who is my favourite and least favourite Doctors? Now, is it a be bit cliche to say David Tennant is my favourite? I mean, the 10th Doctor is generally one of my favourite, like, is my one of my favourite Doctors, but I don't know, is, it, is that too much of an obvious choice to say? Because a lot of people will just say, David Tennant, um, but I, I have a soft spot for David Tennant's 10th Doctor because he is my Doctor, he was my first Doctor, he's the first Doctor I watched which got me into Doctor Who and has kept me into Doctor Who since and made me gone back to revisit past, re past Doctor Who, so I kind of have that soft spot for David Tennant, so I was kind of happy to see him come back as the 14th Doctor, but I do genuinely love him as the, the 10th Doctor, he's one of my favourites, but you know, I also love Matt Smith and Peter Capaldi, I think they're excellent Doctors, and even going back to the classic era, I, I think I genuinely love uh, John Pertwee as well, the third Doctor. I think he's just phenomenal. I really love his stuff as well. And even like Tom Baker and even Peter Davison as well. Really love their stuff. So, yeah, I got a few. But I think maybe John Pertwee and David Tennant are some of my favourite Doctors. John Pertwee for the classic era, David Tennant from the new era. As for the least favourite, well, I haven't really sat down and thought who is my least favourite Doctor. I mean, I, I, I don't want to... Like joining the majority, because I feel like a lot of majority of people say Sylvester McCoy and Colin Baker, unfortunately, which I don't think it's their fault. I just think there was a lot of problems behind the scenes at the time with Doctor Who, which caused them to maybe have some issues with the storytelling they had to do. But I still think they did a really good job. I think, honestly, though, I have to say them not because they are my least favorite, but more because I think they're the doctors I've seen the least. You know, like, I, I can't remember the last time where I've gone, Do you know what? I fancy watching a bit of Colin Baker or Sylvester McCoy today. I, I can't genuinely remember the last time. And I think that's a bit unfair. So, I think for the time being, I will say Colin Baker slash Sylvester McCoy. But I think now, after Christmas, I'm going to nip into my local city centre, nip into one of those, DVD, like, a DVD shop, and I think I'm going to buy some uh, Doctor Who, like, the like 6th Doctor and 7th Doctor DVD. I mean, I think... It's unfair to me to call them my least favourite when they're the Doctors I've least watched, you know? So maybe maybe I should hop in and maybe it isn't as bad as what people have seen. I mean, I've seen... I've, I've still seen some episodes of theirs that I've enjoyed. I mean, the, the two Doctors special with, uh, P, uh, with Colin Baker and uh, Patrick Trout, and I, I, that's a, it's like a favourite multi-Doctor story of mine, which I enjoy. Um, I was just we got Jamie back as well in that special. I, I, I going back to the favorite Doctor thing. I think Patrick Troughton's an excellent Doctor as well. I mentioned this on Twitter that he probably has one of the hardest jobs for an actor in um, in Doctor Who because you know while we're so accustomed to regeneration now, he was a Doctor that you know he, he, we didn't know what it was. We never it was a brand new concept. So imagine the main actor from one series going to another actor. It, it was a completely brand new concept back then for Doctor Who, and we didn't know if it was going to work or not. So, thankfully, Patrick Troughton did a phenomenal job introducing people to the uh, world of regeneration, as well as kind of bringing that more silly, childlike wonder to the Doctor that we uh, we see today in some of these newer incarnations, especially in like something like Matt Smith. I think Matt Smith is kind of like the modern Patrick Troughton in terms of Doctors. So yeah, I think Patrick Troughton uh, did an excellent job as well. So he, he might get a shout for one of my favourites, but yeah, I forgot what I was. Oh uh, yeah, to the Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy thing. I think after Christmas, I'll nip into my local city centre and purchase some of their 
stuff and you know give it a watch maybe maybe i'm being a bit harsh on them we do not know it appears to be that we are slowing down are we near um are we near uh, london oh yeah we are we are very near in fact we're pulling into the station right now um i don't know if there's any british viewers watch but do you sit and wait until your train pulls into the station then get up to get off or do you um go stand by the door well, we should go stand by the door. I normally stay and sit down, but then again, when I'm going to back home from Swan, going back home to Swansea, because Swansea's the end of the line, I can just sit down till we get in the stop. But if you're in more, it stops more in the middle of the line, you'd probably stand up and go by the door. Um, yeah. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is this the coffee thing I was mentioning earlier? I think it is. I mean, it's shut, unfortunately. It's probably closed for the Christmas season, but. I mentioned earlier that like some coaches and I have like the like um like uh like a coffee stand or whatever you can buy drinks and that. Oh I think this is it. So they do still have them on trains. I was just a bit of an idiot. Are we getting near? We're pulling in. Ah, we're pulling in right now. Let's go wait by the door, shall we? Like I said. Which side are we getting on? Are we this side? Or are we the other side? We'll find out. I think we are this side, yeah. Oh, well, guess by me. Ah, London. Home sweet home. At least it is in this game, because my actual home city isn't actually in the game. So we're just going to pretend that London's my home. And we're home now to spend Christmas with my family and loved ones. Ah, how lovely. Wait for the train to stop. Pulling in, and... Stopped. Oh, God, I've lost my breath then. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. Ooh. Gotta say, London Paddon's a very beautiful train station. Makes my train station look like a dumb. Uh, but anyway, that is the Christmas special. I'm sorry it's not one of the most exciting or entertaining Christmas specials. I, like I said, trying to find a Christmas game is really hard. So I just came up with this idea of, look, we're heading home for Christmas on the train to go and spend Christmas now with some loved ones. They're probably over there somewhere in that pile of people all stood around waiting who do not seem to move. Don't blink. Blink and you're dead. Uh, but yes, that is the Christmas special done. This has been, a, I guess, a weird Q&A train journey home video. I don't know what I expected, but hey, it was a video, all right? Um, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Not only this video, but watching me the past year. I've had a, like a lot of problems, a lot of hiccups along the way trying to make videos and put videos out and i'm hoping now christmas i'll be able to fix all them issues and i'll be able to go as much as possible in 2024 and make as many videos as i can i i, I genuinely um hope i can do that but i do want to thank you guys so much for the support on the channel the past year it, it, it's been great I, I truly am grateful from the bottom of my heart for all of you watching the videos liking commenting whatever whatever you do i am truly grateful for it and yeah, want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and I'll see you all in 2024. Goodbye.